guys, welcome to another Elvistory video. So, what I wanted to discuss with you guys is a question that I've had in my own mind, really. <clears throat> it's about uh, Elvis uh, going to Vegas in 1969. Um, the question in my mind uh, has always been, why didn't Elvis go on tour? in 1969 uh, instead of going to to Vegas. To me it, it always seemed like um, the wrong move for him career-wise because I, I, I could never understand why uh, if Elvis was trying to get back on top in the music scene you know after um, his movie career why would he basically in my opinion, take a step backwards and go to Vegas. Now, some of you might know, some of you might not know, in 1956 Elvis played in, in Las Vegas at the New Frontier Hotel and that didn't go over so well. So now, the question in my mind now, if you're Tom Parker and you're Elvis's um, manager, why would knowing that Elvis didn't have great success at the New Frontier Hotel in '56, knowing Elvis wanted to get back on top in 1969 in the in the music business, why would you uh, take a step backwards and bring him to Las Vegas to have him do those shows? Now, uh, you know, as we all know, after a few years, uh, Elvis got kind of tired of Vegas. You know, and that led to him ultimately blowing up at Tom Parker and firing for firing him for uh, might have been a day or two, <clears throat> but ultimately he went back. But to me, that always seemed like <clears throat> a question in my mind because after 1968, after um, the NBC TV special "Singer Presents Elvis" or AKA the '68 Comeback. Um, Elvis discussed with Scotty Moore and DJ Fontana who played with him on the 68 comeback uh, he personally asked uh, Scotty and DJ <coughs> excuse me to to go on tour with him the following year he wanted to to do uh, to tour the country to tour the world even but um, as I was reading with an interview with Scotty Moore, he said, you know, Elvis was gung-ho about that, but then all of a sudden it changed, and he had to play Las Vegas starting in 69. Now, to me, that always just seemed like the wrong move in his career, really. I mean, um, I mean, I credit Parker for getting Elvis to the point of blowing up nationally, but to me personally, that just always seemed like the wrong move. In in 1969 was to uh, to have him play Vegas. That just never made any sense to me. So why would that be? Uh, is it mon monetary reasons? I mean, there's really nothing. Uh, even if you say it's because of money, because he signed a big contract with the international. Even with that, I mean, there's no comparing. There's nothing to compare to because he hadn't toured in maybe 12 years at that point. So you can't even compare what the money was, would have been him touring that year as compared to what he made in Las Vegas. So um, I, I think that, like I said before, I just think that was, if, if, if Elvis is trying to get back on top, why would you take a step back and bring him to Vegas as basically like a lounge act? That that just never made any sense to me. Now, you know, you could say some of the best shows over his career were, were uh, at the International slash Hilton. Yeah, but ultimately, I personally think those Vegas shows, I like some of the Vegas shows he did, but ultimately, I think it just wore him out to the bone. It really did because when you look at the body of work he did in Las Vegas from 1969 to 76, 
which was the last year he played in Vegas, he did over 600 shows. Now, if you do the math, that's about over 80 shows a year in Las Vegas. So, a lot of his uh, being burnt out and tired, which he was, um, that had a lot to do with, with that those string of Vegas shows. So, to me, that just oh, always seemed like, yeah, I mean... Yeah, those, uh, you can thank those Vegas shows basically for Elvis having that big sound around him with the TCB band, because TCB band might not have formed, if you think about that also, TCB band might not have formed if Elvis didn't play Vegas, because he put them together to play the International for his opening shows. Um, history could have been changed in that sense if Elvis went on the road in 1969. He would definitely have had Scotty Moore and definitely had DJ Fontana with him. Now, Bill Black obviously couldn't have been with him because he passed away uh, like four years before that. But So they probably would have had a new bass player or something. But even still, um, going back to my original thought, um, I personally, uh, and this has bothered me for the longest time about Elvis's career, you know, I personally feel starting in about 69, uh, Tom Parker's best interests were for Tom Parker. I mean, some people might disagree with me on that, but it's well known that, uh, I'm not trying to put down Colonel Tom Parker at all, but it's a known fact that he got into some very heavy gambling. And he was, he was dropping like a million dollars. You can go look up on YouTube. I think it was Lamar Fike that said it. He was dropping like a million dollars. here and he, In one night, I think within like a half hour, hour, he lost like a million dollars at the tables. And he got, him, he got himself in deep with, with, with Owen Money with Vegas. So now I'm thinking, did that start in 1969? Did, did those gambling habits and debts start in 1969? And that's why, you know, instead of putting Elvis on the road where he should have been in 1969, is that why he brought him to Vegas? Because other than that, it makes no sense to me why, why Elvis would go to Las Vegas in 1969 wanting to get out there, wanting to get on top of the music scene, you know? What, what train of thought is, oh, well, if he's going to get back on top, he should go play Vegas. That, that doesn't make any sense to me. That's a step backwards, in my opinion. I, like I said, I personally believe that was a huge mistake in his career. And, and for a lot of reasons, honestly. Uh, I mean, America was craving him. The whole world was craving him at that point in 69. And the proof was in the 68 comeback special because... Over half the country tuned in to see Elvis, and that was proof positive that he was still relevant. So now why the heck wouldn't you get him out there in 1969 to go all over, to travel everywhere? Why wouldn't you do that? Why would you say, oh, well, yeah, let's just play Vegas? That, to me, I mean, and I've, I thought it was just me. Now, I read an interview with Elvis's, uh, I guess you could say technically his second manager, Bob Neal, because Scotty Moore was originally Elvis's first uh, manager. He managed uh, him, uh, Elvis, and Bill Black. And I read an interview with Bob Neal, and even Bob said, I had nothing against Tom Parker. The only thing, the only mistake I think he made in Elvis's career was not putting him on the road in 1969. So, um, to me right there, that says something, you know. It's not only me that's thinking that, it just, when you stop and think about 1969 and Elvis's career, I mean, it's not like he didn't have uh, material to take on the road with him. Um, because in, in January, February, he, at American Sound Studio, Elvis re not re he recorded all new material. He had this, he was fully armed with new material to take on the road. All 
new uh, new songs. Plus, he it was like a whole new sound for him because he he re when he recorded at American Sound Studio, it was a whole different uh, way of recording. At that point, it was like a new innov innovative way of recording that they would record everybody all together instead of Elvis being in a separate room. So now, you know, having all these songs to go on the road with, all these new songs, this new sound, you know, why go to Las Vegas? To me, that just doesn't make any sense. And, and my personal belief, maybe I'm wrong, you guys can call me on it, you know, leave your comments to, uh, in the comments below, you know, let me know how you feel about it. if you think uh, in 1969 Elvis should have went to Vegas or should have went on the road. My personal belief is, I think, I personally believe, because when you stop and think about it, it makes no sense to bring him to Las Vegas as a lounge act when he's trying to get back on top of the music business. Um, I personally believe that Colonel Tom Parker got started getting into some gambling problems then and it's a known fact that Elvis was covering his debts because when Elvis fired him originally um, one of the things he said to Parker was I'm tired of cover covering your debts that's the only reason why I'm here in Vegas so like I said um, I want you guys to let me know what you think about um, that whole thing in 1969 when Elvis uh, started playing the International. Do you think um, he should have gone on the road and toured instead, like I believe? Or do you think, you know, Vegas was the right move for him, you know? Let me know your opinion in, this com in the comments because this is something that always sat in my mind. And it, I just could never wrap my head around why Parker would do that. For He was a smart man. Despite what you want to believe about Parker, I love him, hate him, he was a smart man. And to me, that move to Vegas in 69 for Elvis to be, uh, to be performing in front of people was just, to me, that was just a horrible move. I don't care how much money the International put up, to pay Elvis for those shows, I don't care. He needed, I mean, the public was craving him again. He needed to be out on the road with his new sound, with, with, with Scotty and DJ. You know, maybe the TCB band might never have formed if that happened, but you don't know. But I still believe, you know, and, and this is no disrespect, no think I don't like the TCB. I love the TCB band. They, they, they gave Elvis great sound. I'm just saying, my point is that had they gone that way, it might have turned out different to where Elvis might not have had those uh, same people around him, like, you know, James Burton and Ronnie Tut and uh, Glenn D. Uh, Harden. So, all right, guys, that that's all I wanted. To, I just wanted to share my thoughts in a uh, opinions on that so like I said my opinion is in 1969 when when Elvis was trying to be relevant in the music business having just recorded at American Sound Studio my personal opinion is he should have went on the road and toured that's my personal opinion now you know if you, you guys are welcome to have a different opinion leave it in the comments let me know I hope all you guys are doing great. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. And as always, TCB, and God bless.